Good morning. In full disclosure, I am completely wearing pajama pants right now. It occurs to me that in the last couple of days I've been talking a lot about body image and weight gain and how difficult a lot of it can be because I want you to know that I can empathize with you if you have found that you need to reduce your exercise and gain some weight to get your period back. However, I have not talked about some of the awesome things that happen. Obviously, you need a little bit of incentive. It's not all that bad. So it's only fair that we spend a little bit of time now talking about some of the awesome things that happen when you actually gain weight. And you're like, wait a minute, what could be awesome about gaining weight? If you Google, you're not gonna find awesome things that happen when you gain weight. But in our specific situation, there are really a lot of amazing things that do happen. So I'm gonna tell you what they are today. Number one, I have to get the obvious out of the way. Boobs, glorious boobs. Even though it was extremely painful when my little friends grew back in, not only do I have enough to fill out a bra, I have enough to fill out a dress or like a cute top. I actually have something that is resembling cleavage. Make no mistake, I am still a card carrying member of the IBTC, but it's been really fun. It's been fun to have this kind of a uh, new shape going on. I thought it would bother me. I thought it would bother me when I was running and it really doesn't. To be honest with you, I kind of like it. It's pretty fun to see what estrogen can do for you. Number two, hello integumentary system. If you've seen me in a ponytail in the last couple of months, you have seen the hair growth, the baby hairs that are coming back because, and you can see them right here, they're like short, because I had lost tons of hair around my hairline and all like up in the corners here like this, and it's all growing back. It looks a little nuts most of the time. I truly have a lot of hair, as you know, so I really was surprised that I noticed it coming back, but I do, and it's amazing. Also my fingernails, so like, I don't do fingernails. I don't like long nails. I'm never a person who wanted to grow their nails long, but I will tell you that my nails are stronger, they're more shiny, they grow more quickly, they don't peel and crack. And I used to have these horizontal ridges going like this way across my thumbs and I don't have that anymore. Additionally, my skin is actually much, much more hydrated than it used to be. I used to be so dry. I used to have really, really, really dry patches, dry skin everywhere. It was really hard for me to deal with. I would put like straight up oil on my face at night and I didn't notice any improvement with the hydration status. I have crow's feet and I have the 11s over here that make me insane. But for the most part, my skin looks pretty good and it has really, really changed drastically since gaining some weight. Not to be totally all about beauty and vanity here, but you know, as you age, you lose fat in your face. And when you gain some weight back, you have some nice poofiness. You have cheeks again and it's cute. Number three, I am hot. Woo, baby. No, I mean it, actually, I'm warm. When I wasn't eating enough and when I was super, super skinny, I was freezing all the time to the point where it was annoying. It was painful. I hated to be that cold, but as soon as I gained weight back, I actually could enjoy being outside in the cold. I could actually enjoy putting on a jacket and feeling warm when it was really cold out. My body temperature used to be so low. It was incredible. I was like one second from hypothermia all the time. But since gaining weight, I'm a hot 98 point something and it's awesome. It feels so good. My boyfriend really likes it when it's like warm at night when we sleep and I really get hot at night now so I want the window open. We're constantly fighting about it. It kind of makes me laugh at this point. Number four, I actually have mental capacity to do things like read books. This is a weird thing. This is actually not something to laugh at. For about the last year and a half before I decided to gain weight to get my period back, I did not have the capacity to read an entire book. I spent all of my time randomly looking at stuff on the internet or scrolling through Instagram, but I could not get the focus together to read an entire book. I always told myself I was too busy or I didn't have time or whatever, but I know that it was because I did not, I couldn't get my brain to work in that way. And it wasn't just reading books, by the way. It was also the fact that sometimes I would be driving and I would get like kind of, not disoriented, but you know, my brain would wander. I always felt a little bit out of it. You know, they call it brain fog or whatever, but for me, it just felt like I just had cotton balls in my face all the time. It kind of felt like I was stoned all the time, but like minus the fun part. When I gained weight and was eating better and eating more, it, I could feel my brain kind of like coming online, like a computer booting up. It was crazy. My concentration is better. 
my I feel that my writing is better my mental acuity is better I have more focus I can multitask now in a way that it was really hard for me to do before I shouldn't be again I should not be laughing about this it's not funny I'm a person who really values intelligence and the fact that I let that go by the wayside is just staggering to me okay number five awesome thing that started to happen when I gained weight. I sleep like a dead person. After years of suffering with insomnia and not being able to sleep through the night because my blood sugar was always crashing and I was always up like ruminating of whether I should get up and eat something or whether I should just try to sleep or whatever, I finally started sleeping through the night. It, it was glorious. I would wake up in the morning and like the angels were singing, the birds were chirping. There is nothing that can replace the feeling of a good night's sleep. I never take it for granted every single morning that I wake up and I have slept through the night. I wake up and I'm like, it's the best thing ever. Oh hey, are we on number six? I hate to be squicky, I'm just gonna leave it at this. Libido comes back from whence it had gone. I'm gonna do a whole video on this because I do think it's a super important topic and one that people ask me about all the time. But for now, let's just say, yes, Stella, you will get your groove back. And the last fabulous thing that I'm gonna talk about today that happens when you gain weight is that you are a lot more fun to be around. When I decided to eat more and gain weight, I became less anxious, less controlling, more social, more fun. My nourished brain felt better in social situations. I wasn't full of anxiety all the time. I was just much more relaxed. You guys know I have celiac disease, so whenever I have to go out to a restaurant or maybe go to eat at someone's house, it's always gonna cause me a little bit of anxiety because I have to think about, you know, are there gonna be options for me? Do I need to bring my own food? That's, that's fine. I don't worry about all of the other things that I used to worry about. I'm not worried about being in control of the situation. I am much more flexible. I am much more spontaneous. I don't mind it when plans change. I don't fall to pieces at the drop of the hat. There are a whole host of other awesome things that have happened to me since I decided to gain weight so that I could get my period back. This is just a short list. The biggest thing I can tell you is that at the beginning of this process was when I felt the most anxiety and trepidation about gaining weight. If I had known then what I know now about how happy I am at this moment, I would have started years ago. But again, no regrets. We are where we are for a reason. If you have the choice this weekend to live a little bit on the edge, be a little freer with your food choices, and really commit to your recovery from amenorrhea, do it. I promise you there's some awesome things headed your way, but you may have to go bra shopping. Hey, I would really love it if you help me with my long shot dream that will probably never happen, which is to get a thousand subscribers here on YouTube by the end of August. I am very aware of the fact that I probably will not make it, but you can help me by please subscribing now if you haven't done so already. Thank you again to those of you who have generously donated to help keep A Case of the Jills going strong. If you would like to contribute, you can do so by going to the website at acaseofthegills.com. You can also schedule a chat with me there. You'll find the scheduler right there on the top. Tab. One more fun thing is that I am going to be speaking at Tark Camp on June 10th. That's Trail Animals Running Club annual camp that's happening in Massachusetts. If you're going to be there, come over and say hi. Thanks for watching, all my girlies. See you soon. Bye.